What up? This your boy Flex from Jersey. We in a Four Peaks mini bar. And today we're doing a PHNX draft prospect. And I got a great prospect for y'all. Dayron Holmes, power forward, Dayton, 6'10, 7'1 wingspan, 236. This kid is dynamic. Now, the interesting thing about Dayron is he's been mocked for as a late first round pick. But I think his potential is much higher. I think this kid's got some game. He's one of my favorite prospects in the NBA draft. Let's talk about some of his strengths. Dayron Holmes is an absolute two-way player. This guy can do it on both ends. This guy can do it on offense. He can do it on defense. He's particularly a 3 and D guy that I think can, can thrive in the NBA as a 3 and D guy. Uh, rim protector, high basketball IQ, lockdown defender, super high motor. And he has star potential in the NBA. I know people are going to say Dayron Holmes, the guy that is mocked as a late first round pick, has star potential. Yes, he has absolutely star potential. And this is why I keep saying, watch out for this NBA draft. The best prospects may not be in the top 10. You might find the best prospects in this draft later in the round. And that's why we're going to go dive deep into Dayron Holmes. He's got some weaknesses. One of his weaknesses is his age, okay? NBA teams are going to look for kids. They want the young prospect. Dayron Holmes is 22 years old. He's an older prospect. But he's ready to play in the NBA right now. I think Dayron Holmes has a unique skill set that is different than most bigs I'm seeing in this draft. And people categorize him as a center. I think he's more of a hybrid. I think this guy's a power forward and a center. But he has like small forward skills. So that is a unique trait. And we're going to talk about some of those traits a little bit later. His age is a weakness and offensive rebounding is a weakness. But here's why it's a weakness. Dayron is an incredible three-point shooter. This guy will let it go. He uses his three-pointer as a way to attack defenses. He's not a center that will shoot a three-pointer to prove he can make it. He'll set up, hit a three-pointer, set you up to come out to, to the uh, three-point line, and then dribble drive, hit the paint, and put pressure on the rim. So he uses his three-pointer as an actual, actual skill to break down defenses and make his team better, see the court, make great passes. There's not much offensively this kid can do. And on defense, he's, uh, he's a rim protector. He's going to bring a lot of pressure to what we can do defensively. Now, let's get into some of these comps. Uh, after we talk about the strengths and weaknesses, you got to get into these comps. One of the guys that I think Dayron Holmes can uh, be right now, day one, as a floor is a guy like Jared Vanderbilt, who I really like. The Suns have been trying to get Jared Vanderbilt for quite some time. We saw his impact in the NBA, and a guy like Jaden McDaniels, who we very much saw in the playoffs against the Phoenix Suns, how he can change the game. So Dayron Holmes' floor is something between Jaden McDaniels and Jared Vanderbilt. Wait till you hear what I think his ceiling is. Now, his ceiling is interesting. Again, talk about a guy that has a lot of strengths for very minimal weaknesses, is mature, is ready to play now. And you start to think about the 2016 NBA draft. A guy named Pascal Siakam, who went 27 in that NBA draft, people thought he was a project. People didn't believe that he had more offense to his game. If I went back and, I, and, I'm, and I'm right about the tape as far as Pascal Siakam, he was regarded more as a defensive guy, a high motor guy, and a guy that would rebound. I remember one of his comparisons being Dennis Rodman. Okay, so that's what we thought Pascal was. And time would tell Pascal's an all NBA basketball player that can take over a game offensively and do some incredible things. And that's what I think Dayron Holmes brings to the table. How does he fit with the Phoenix Suns? This guy with the Phoenix Suns can space the floor. He is an incredible screener. And I don't think that gets talked enough about when you watch his tape. He has a unique ability to set a screen and find a soft spot in the zone, always be in the right place. And with the three-point shooting he provides, defenses have to go on rotation. They have to be, they have to be conscious of his three-point shooting and his ability to break down a defense and to attack the paint. So with the Phoenix Suns needing more three-point shooting, needing screeners, and a little bit of a rim, a rim roller and a lob threat, Dayron Home brings that in spades. So I think he fits in perfectly with the Phoenix Suns. He's mocked as a late first rounder. The Phoenix Suns have the 22nd pick in the draft, but are having initial talks about potentially moving back in the draft and accumulating more picks. So if the Phoenix Suns go that route, you run to the table and you draft Daron Holmes right away. You don't think twice. With that said, I'm your boy Flex from Jersey. Peace out.